Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I am your host, Tyranna Senpai, and welcome to a kind of a brief Beast of the Mesozoic Ceratopsian series video. Since you guys really seem to like the um, Tyrannosaur news video I did, I decided I'd be covering Beast of the Mesozoic a little bit more often. So this is what um, we're going to do. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some of the newer figures that are going to be coming soon from the Beast of the Mesozoic line. Now, as we know, the Ceratopsian series has been going on since last um, year, as a matter of fact, and I managed to get several of the figures, the Nasutoceratops, the Pachyrhinosaurus, and the Triceratops subadult, all three of which I have unboxed on the channel. And today, um, we're actually going to be talking about some Ceratopsians that are going to be coming in the future after Wave 3 hits, when it's expected this September if not later now with these figures there are two in specific there are two specifically we're going to be taking a look at the protoceratops and the satakosaurus because these dinosaurs were released in wave one as one six scale models making them in scale with the, the entire raptor series but not in scale with any of the ceratopsians but david silva announced that he would be making 118 uh, scale models of the Protoceratops, Cetacosaurus, and the entire Raptor line. And today we're going to be taking a look at just what kind of Ceratopsians have already been shown off. So far we got three different species, and here, without further ado, why, let's not waste any more time and check him out. First up on the list, we have the Protoceratops and Drusi. It looks really good. I like the paint job. And this is like a size comparison um, to a penny. And this is absolutely tiny. Look at it. It's so absolutely tiny. Now, with these figures, David Silva has said that there's going to be interchangeable hind legs, which will allow them to bend in a way. Like, you see... This leg here is straight back, is like straight, but the one over here is bent, which is really good. These stands will also not have like a pole for them to help support them. Instead, the figures will have a hole in their feet um, where they will be attached to a tiny little poker on the bottom, basically. And that's how you stick them on there. Now, the raptors will be different. They'll actually have, like, a clamp rather than a hole in their foot. But this looks really good. I'm, I'm glad to see that David Silva is actually giving these things, like, a proper stand so you can pose them, like, so dynamically. Also, I just love the fact that they put a penny here just to compare how small this thing was. And it, it only gets put into more of a perspective... When we take a look at the 1-6 scale model that was released. In terms of, like, accuracy, these two, like, match almost perfectly. The only thing I have to say that's different is the fact that the Protoceratops here is more brightly colored than this one. And, um, whereas this one has, like, an off-white, there's kind of, like, a yellowish uh, color, like, spread it spread it up spread about where this one's like off white all over the place which is kind of boring in comparison to this but otherwise this is um this is fairly accurate to what its predecessor looks like and i'm really happy about that this is definitely a dinosaur i'm going to be getting by the way not this one but this one because i want all my dinosaurs to be in scale and this is the protoceratops in Compared to the Zuniceratops, Cosmoceratops, Wendyceratops, and Centrosaurus. Yes, it's the odd one out. <laughs> but yes, um, the Zuniceratops is the smallest one in the line so far, I think. At least until this guy gets released. And oh my lord, the, the size comparison between these guys, especially with the Centros Centrosaurus, it dwarfs this Protoceratops so much. Look at it. It's so tiny. It's adorable, really. But also it makes you think that this could, that this thing could easily just squash this thing like a bug. 
Anyway, moving on. Now, this one is also a Protoceratops, but it's a different species. Protoceratops Helion... Heli... Hell, 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 hell. Hold on a minute. What is it? Protoceratops... Helenicorhinus. There we go. Now, you may be saying... Well, wouldn't that mean it's a subspecies, not an actual species? The answer, no. With dinosaurs, normally you only call it by the genus name. Like, the, for example, the genus um, of Tyrannosaurus rex is Tyrannosaurus, and the species is rex. So, the first name of the dinosaur is the genus, and the second name is the actual species itself. It's not a subspecies. If it were a subspecies, there would be a third name, but there is not. So this is a totally different species of Protoceratops, and you could tell it's different, not by the color, but by the shape of the skull, it, if in comparison, because like it has like this more pronounced ridge on its head, and its frill is kind of like a heart shape, rather than the shield-shaped frill of uh, the Andrusi Protoceratops. And it looks really good. It's also really tiny. It's about the same size as the other Protoceratops, because as we can tell by this little penny here. This one doesn't have a 1-6 scale um, counterpart. This is like a very new uh, figure that's going to be coming. But there is a size comparison uh, from the Central Source, the Windy Ceratops, the Contro Ceratops, and the Zuni Ceratops. And once again, it is dwarfed by these things. I just love how David Silva could put so much detail on such a little itty bitty figure like this and it's so cool look at that look at all that detail now i don't know where the color inspiration comes from i mean i've already asked that but i haven't gotten an answer yet but i'm pretty sure we'll figure i mean judging by the colors it kind of looks like a frog of some kind i'm not i'm or like some kind of lizard i don't really know but this is um this is another definite. I want both species of Protoceratops in my collection because like they just look so good, <laughs> and I feel like it'd be a hate crime to choose one species over another. Because why not? <laughs> and finally, we're gonna be taking a look at the Psittacosaurus, which was also made into a one scale figure. We will be taking a look at shortly. This looks really good. Shut up, train. And of course, um, it's got a lot of articulation. This one really needs the stand because we know this Attackosaurus was bipedal, meaning it walked on two legs. So of course, it would have needed like a stand like this to help it keep balance. Otherwise, it's not going to stand up for very long, especially if you're planning to do some of the more dynamic poses. The quills are also bunched together like this, but that's just to keep it from falling for each of the quills to just keep snapping off, which is a good, 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 good uh, thing to consider. Especially when you're talking about a figure that's pretty much going to fit in your hand. And this is it compared to the Cetacosaurus from the first wave. As you can tell, the quills aren't bunched together like this one is. And there are there is a difference. This one's more brightly colored than this. But this is a pro... But the last... But the figures we've seen up until this point were prototypes, so this might not even be the final product. But it, in comparison, they look pretty dang similar, and I like it. This is definitely another one of those dinosaurs I'm going to be planning on getting. And here it is in comparison with the Zuniceratops, Cosmoceratops, Wendyceratops, and Centrosaurus. Again, it is absolutely minuscule. And I like it. This is a definite for me. Now, of course, there are probably going to be other 118th scale Ceratopsians that are about this small, but I'm not sure when we'll get news of that, or if they're even coming. I mean, it's just a guess. But if they are coming, it's going to be fun to see what other Ceratopsians we're going to be getting that are this small. And I definitely can't wait to see how the new Raptors are going to be looking because the 118th scale raptors are planned. They're going to redo all the raptors and make them in scale with all the other dinosaur figures. And I'm so excited about that. Thank goodness there's not a 135th scale of these guys. Otherwise, they'd be really small. 
<laughs> but yeah, um, there you go, you guys. Just a quick little Beast of the Mesozoic video for you guys. Which Ceratopsian are you most excited about seeing? Um, which one are you going to be getting? Um, I'm probably going to be getting all three of these, especially if they come in a three-pack like they did with the nestlings. Or, chances are, I might get a two-pack if each one has a different protoceratops. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, that's going to wrap up the video here. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe today, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything new. Link to the Discord in the description down below. And until next time, this is Tyrannosempi signing off. Alrighty then, take care now, bye bye then.